Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm just going to be going through things that don't make sense in GTA. So, we all have those things. This is just going to be a little rant video on things that don't make sense. So, I might ramble on a bit here. But, let me know if any of you enjoy this or any of this actually relates to you in any way. So, without further ado, let's get straight onto the video. The first thing I really hate and... It doesn't make sense at all and a lot I know a lot of car guys hate this is the fact when cops come and hit you and then you get cops for it so the AI cops will crash into you and you'll get cops for it they'll be chasing someone else they hit you and they stop and they just start shooting you and also the fact that when you get one star when they hit you and you get one star they just start shooting at you like I don't know you've killed murdered someone or something so I think that really does not make any sense and I find it really annoying as well. Now we all know all the new casino DLC vehicles but the strange thing is you can't lower them. The only one you can lower right now is the spiker and yeah it just doesn't make sense that all these new cars you can't lower. It does have bulletproof tires if I shoot it. There you go. Sorry, non bulletproof tires. But it just will not lower. And I hope Rockstar does fix this because I think a lot of people do want to lower the AF Rafters. I don't know. This car would look good. It is already quite low, but if it was one step lower, it would look really nice. So here we've got the brand new Emirates and. I just want you guys to keep in mind that this car costs 2.7 million so the whole point of this now is just to damage it as much as we can and just see how much it costs to fix it compared to something really cheap like a Vigoro And we've damaged it as much as we can until there's actually smoke showing through and as you see you can't really damage this car that much and it costs $575 to repair a 2.7 million you know dollar vehicle I'm just gonna repair repair this now and let's see the Vegero see how much that costs to repair so I'm just gonna do the exact same now damage the car you know as much as I can before it starts smoking and we're gonna see how much it costs to fix so we're gonna see now how much this one costs and as you see right there it costs six hundred and fifty dollars to repair this so it costs more than the two point seven million dollar vehicle and this only costs nine thousand nine thousand dollars so even though you know it's it's no biggie i would like to see the there be more prices on so it'll be like running cost so every time you damage the center or something uh high in high value you would actually have to think about that before you buy the car so if i buy this 2.7 million car would i i'll have to pay maybe ten thousand to fix it so therefore i might not buy it that would be a great option to add but it's just something again that doesn't make any sense in GTA. Another thing that really doesn't make any sense, it's normally Sentinel drivers, but you will get these drivers, these NPCs that will just drive weirdly sometimes. Now this NPC, there we go, there we go. The NPC is driving erratically. It's sometimes on the wrong side of the road. It's actually driving quite fast. I can hardly keep up with it, but it will just go behind traffic like normal. And then all of a sudden, it will just it will just drive erratically, and I do hate it because when you're in car meets or something, and a car's you know in the left lane, and then you are on the right, it will just suddenly turn right even though it's in the left lane to turn left, and you'll get your car damaged, and then you'll have to repair it again. Something else that really does not make any sense. Another really strange one is when you hit big poles like this traffic light pole here. So this traffic light pole is really big and thick 
and in real life you shouldn't go straight through it like you do in GTA and, and it's just strange because as you see there my car has no damage you might get a few scratches when you do it but there's hardly any damage and then you compare it with the train track pole over here and you can just see that that doesn't move at all as you see my car here has neons on it and I think we've all seen this before where when we look underneath the car which I will do a Rockstar editor shot of now there is actually no neons there so there's no neon like there's no light bars or anything it's just all the underneath chassis and pixelated chassis so it's strange that they didn't add like a little effect of light being there and it's just wrong another thing that really doesn't make any sense is the fact that you can actually lower your car by shooting it now I know everyone is grateful for this and Rockstar know that this is a thing that's why they kept it in the game that's why they when they patched it they brought it back because of car guys but it's just a silly thing why don't they just add something that we can actually we can actually lower it without shooting it that's uh, something that's really wrong with GTA now carrying on from the last one lowering your car it makes no sense that you need to have bulletproof non bulletproof wheels so we us car guys need something to protect us from the tryhards out there and it, and we have to roll around with no bulletproof tires to make us more vulnerable and um, that's something that again makes no sense that no bulletproof tires you can't lower your car so I'm here and I've damaged my Goldnet Classic quite a lot and I'm gonna just tell my friend here to send a screenshot of what he sees and this is another thing that I don't think makes sense in GTA the fact that your friend sees different damages to what you actually see and it is quite annoying but it's something we have to deal with and there we are this is what my friend sees and it's just a goatner that's smoking so one of the weird things is that a lot of cars in GTA don't actually have the fuel filler cap so it's very weird because most cars don't have them and I guess they're, they're not really needed as you can't fill your car up with fuel anyway but it's weird that there is no fuel filler cap don't have them and and, I, and let me know if you have any more to add to this so if you guys have anything else you think that uh, doesn't make sense in GTA right now and I didn't include it so let me know what you think let me know what you thought of the video uh, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one another weird thing that really does not make sense is blowing up RC cars so RC cars take three rockets to blow up so one we'll count that as two and three it takes three rockets to blow up and then you have other vehicles like just cars in general that take one rocket to blow up and you've got big volatile so this plane I don't know how much it costs but it's a big plane and it goes down in one rocket compared to an RC car that goes down in three rockets that really does not make sense and they and let me know if you have any more to add to this so if you guys have anything else you think that uh, doesn't make sense in GTA right now and I didn't include it so let me know what you think let me know what you thought of the video uh, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.